Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be all about my experience at Basic Leaders Course in Grafenberg, Germany. Um, so if you guys are not subscribed to my channel, don't get me mad. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button on this video so you guys can get more army videos, army related videos. And you guys know every time I go somewhere or I do something, I like to create videos of my experience so I wanted to make this video and I wanted to hurry up and do this video because I graduated today's Sunday and I graduated Friday Sergeant Major Cascardo, the, com the Commandant of the 7th Army Non-Commissioned Officer Academy, welcome to the Basic Leader Course Graduation Ceremony for Class 09-19. And I just wanted to make this video while everything is fresh in my mind. So, if you guys don't know what BLC is, it is what it stands for, Basic Leaders Course. It is a course that is required for everyone to get promoted to the rank of Sergeant. Um... Now, for National Guard and Reserve, I don't know. I do know that, um, don't look at my, my lace is lifting. What you think about this wig? Period, poo. So, I do know that um, some National Guard or Reservists get promoted and then they go to BOC. I don't know, but fact of duty doesn't work like that. You need to go to the promotion board and also to BOC. So, if you guys don't know, I have, were, I've been waiting about a year and a half, a year for a slot to go to BLC. I was waiting, 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 looking around. I seen people going that had like 200 points and I was like, oh my God, this is not fair. So eventually I started to get really frustrated and I just waited and I waited. And then eventually I was given the opportunity to go to the school and I'll explain to you guys what happened. So the first time that I went, I went in, I believe it was July. I don't remember what day it was, but what month it was, but I went and they, I got kicked out because my account said visitor. So when you go there, you need to have an account that doesn't say visitor. But I'll explain that later on in the video.
deal. So the second time I went was August 30th, I believe. Please don't quote me. August 25th or August 30th, one of those days. So when you get there, hold on. Okay, so when you get there, if you get there on a Sunday, you sign in. Well, I'm gonna explain my experience. So I got there on a Sunday. I went to staff duty, signed in, and they give you, they tell you what room that you are gonna be in. You bring all your bags. To the room. Now, the next morning, you have to be outside with all your, um, with your whole packing list. Information is at 4.30, but if you're smart, you'll be out there like 3.45. So 3.45, you're outside with all your bags, and you're waiting, you're waiting, waiting. And it's a lot of people because some people have heart slots, and some people have walk-on slots. So me, I had a heart slot both times. A heart slot means that you are guaranteed a slot in the school, and a walk-on means that you don't have a slot. But if someone that has a slot doesn't show up or something, or if they have extra room, that they'll take you. But nine times out of ten, I've... I usually see people go back like three times. I usually see people go um, three or four times back to back and then they get in. So uh, both times I had a hard slot. The first time my computer account was messed up. And by the time that it got fixed, it was too late to get my slot away. So the second time I went, boom. So when you get there, you have your packing list. Everyone's outside waiting. Everyone's on their phone. And you're like talking about if you think you're going to get in, that you're not going to get in. People are talking about promotion points. It's just a whole lot of talking, and it's really early in the morning, and I was aggravated because people would not shut up. Like, it's so early, it's cold, it's freezing cold. Just please shut the fuck up. But no one would shut up. So then, boom, they say, mass formation, everybody fall in. So you fall in, and there is a, I think it's like an E67 guy that pops up in front of the formation, and he has a roster. So every name that he calls off the roster, you once he calls your name, you move to another formation, and you form up. If he doesn't call your name, that means you don't have a heart slot. So if you get there, they don't call your name, that, don't mean, that means you don't have a heart slot. So all the people that don't have heart slots, all the people that are walk-ons, they create another formation. And that's just for the walk-on. So if you got a heart slot, you're in another formation with everyone that has a heart slot. Then another guy pops up and he reads off... Um, your name again, and this dictates what class you'll be going to. So I was in Bravo 2. And then at that same time, they give you a roster number. It's what you'll be identified as the whole time in BLC. They don't say your name. Usually they don't say your name. They just say, what's your roster number? What's your roster number? What's your roster number? What's your... And my roster number was 149. And for my whole class, they had about 180 students. Usually they have like two something to 300, but that class was really whatever. So they had like 180 students. Now, one thing I did notice is a lot of people, like a lot of people that have heart slots, did not show up. So a lot of people, a lot of walk-ons got on. Like, I know a dude that got on, and he didn't even have, he barely had any points, but he got on. So I'm happy for him. But yeah, so you do that, and then once they call your name, you fall out to meet your SGO. Then you guys go to the classroom, you check your computer count. Now, when you log into the computer, you need to have a green screen, or you're going to get kicked out. Like, my ass, I got kicked out the first month because of that. So boom, you have your um, green screen and you're good to go. Now that morning, that Monday morning is when they do height and weight, right? Now if you, oh God, my toes is crusty. If you feel height and weight, you have 10 days to do height and weight again. All right, sorry y'all. Sorry y'all, so somebody knocked on my door. So as I was saying, so the first week, let's get into the first week, okay y'all? The first week you take your PT test, your height and weight, and then I'll get into like the essays that are due. So when you take your PT test, I'm gonna let y'all know right now, they grade very hard on the PT test. They grade very strict on the PT test. I'm letting y'all know. If you fail the PT test or if you feel height and weight, you have 10 days to take it again to see if you'll pass. Um, I'm going to insert pictures of the barracks show you guys what the barracks look like i'm also going to insert a picture and show you guys because the first night or well, video the first night you are not given sheets so it will behoove you to bring your sleeping bag the sleeping bag is on the packing list but you're going to sleep in your sleeping bag the first night 
and you'll get sheets the second night once you make it in. So if you fail height and weight or repeat the test, you have 10 days to take it again. Um, as you guys can see by the clips, there's three people per room. I'm just, yeah, I'm just using that thing. <laughs> Yeah, three soldiers per room. Um, and the female that was on the, I was the first bed. My, my homegirl was the second bed and the fe and there was another female that was the third bed. The female that was the third bed, she filled her PT test the second time by one sit up and she got kicked out. So if you are going to go to BLC, you might wanna, uh, the weird part was she did her sit-ups um, at night in the room. She filled the first time, and she did well. She did way more than what was needed. But I don't know if she just got really nervous or what. But so they kicked people out for that. They kicked people out for plagiarizing. They kicked the dude out for plagiarizing, and they also kicked out two dudes for height and weight. So they split up BLC into three phases, y'all. The foundation phase. The leadership phase and the readiness phase. I had to Google it because I really don't remember all the shit. Did. I don't remember all of it. It just everything is like you just so much shit happen. You just don't even remember. So yes. Yeah, so, oh yeah, yeah. So the first week is where you um, test out on PRT and DNC. PRT being um, extend to the left march, like conducting, like giving PRT. Not you. You put test. No. So. Damn, this dude is blowing my phone up. So, um, they give you either between the CDs or the MMDs. I got the MMDs and the hip stability thing. God, I think that's pretty easier than the uh, CDs. But I know back in the day they used to do primary and alternate instructors. But they don't do it anymore. So, it's going to be you by yourself giving, like, doing everything. Like, safety brief AR, you're doing every single thing by yourself. So, that changed. My NCO didn't know that. When I came back, I told him, like, yo, they, ain't, they don't even do that shit no more. So it's you by yourself. You have no no alternate. Also, DNC is pretty easy. You just have to do a right flank, left flank, column half left, column half right, column right, column left, rear march, and inspect your squad. That's all you have to do. So um, if you guys want a video of how that looks, I will link it down below because I already knew before I got to BLC I had already knew what we had to do because I saw it on YouTube. So if you guys want me to link that video down below, let me know and I'll get it to you guys. But once you pass the first week, bitch, that's it. You're Gucci. Because the first week I think is the hardest because it's the height and weight, beauty test, PRT and DNC. And also the first week is the sharp essay. Now if you guys um I'm only speaking for the BLC that's in graph. If you guys want to um win some awards I, it would behoove y'all to take the sharp essay really serious because whoever has the best sharp essay will win a COA, which is a. Actually, do you get a COA? I think you get a COA. You get a, the sharp initiative award or a COA. Don't quote me because I didn't win it, so I don't know. The second week is. Oh, God. The second week is. I don't remember what we did the second week. I don't remember. Every, I honestly don't remember what we did, bro. I don't remember. Um, but yeah, so you do things on public speaking. You do uh, conduct individual training. You do a lot, but I just want to talk about what I personally liked and didn't like about that exact location. So a lot of the SGLs, which stands for small group leaders, they're the NCOs that are above you. So for you guys that don't know what I'm talking about, that's like you going to basic training and then be on drill sergeants, you going to AIT and then be an instructor. So these are your instructors. Now, some of them, oh, I had Sergeant Matnez. Staff Sergeant Matnez was my SGO. And when I first met him, I was like, 
he seems like he's gonna be mean. Like he told us from off jump, like, yo, look, I'm really mean. I'm an asshole. But I'm about to stand, I'm about to book. And I don't really care if you guys make comment on this or not. You guys are gonna leave here. You know what I mean? Like better than you came. So he was he was kinda mean, like you you kinda knew like you couldn't. You can't shit back around him. You can't. It's certain stuff. It's kind of like if you had like a mean dad, kind of. That's what you remind me of. You remind me of a really mean dad. But he's amazing. If you guys get him, just know you're going to be set for life. He is an amazing SGR. Um, who else is really good? We have uh, Song First Class Morgan. He was a really good SGO. He wasn't my SGO though, but he was amazing. He was the only SGO during the PT test that was like motivating every single one. Like the rest of them just stood there like. And you don't have to say, because some people don't really need motivation, and some people do, but he just, he knows how to boost morale. Like, Sean Morgan is the absolute best, like, the best. Like, he just knows how to boost morale. Like, he is amazing. Who else was amazing? Um, Staff Sergeant Hennon. Oh, God, Lord Jesus. That man is funny. Also a great NCO, very knowledgeable. I like him. He was very good at it. Very good. I like him. If you get some, or let me tell you, if you get Sergeant Martinez, Sergeant Morgan... Sarn Mitchell, Steph Sarn Hennon, Sarn Cousins, Sarn Sela. Is that it? Sarn Burnett. Or Sarn Jane Way, which is gone. He's probably, he said it was his last cycle. If you get them, you're going to be sad because they are absolutely amazing. Like, amazing. Now, the, the only thing I really could say I didn't like about BLC was the fact that a lot of the SGLs. They didn't grade the same. So it's like, they didn't grade the same in the aspect of they, somebody would get a 100 and they didn't really work for it. And then somebody else would get like an 88, but they bust their head. Do you get what I'm saying? Like some people, some of the SGOs just gave away easy grades. And then some of them, like my SGO, he, he graded like by the book, which is the right thing. But it's like, how the fuck did she get 100? She don't even know her left from her right. You know what I mean? But it's okay. But besides that, okay, so the defect is amazing, y'all. The defect is probably the probably the the best defect I've had in my entire couple of years in the army. It's probably the best defect. They had steak. They had they had like amazing food, like just an amazing array of food. I wanted to vlog in there, but I couldn't vlog. But yeah, that was an, it, it was just amazing. So also another thing, if you do color guard. They will give you a COA if you volunteer for color guard. They actually wanted to do it. I volunteered and I did the rifle. And I'm gonna tell you one thing: I will never do that again in my life. That rifle is heavy. It was it was heavy, bro. And it, it wasn't the fact that it was heavy that made me not want to do it again. It was the fact that we practiced with M4s, and then the day came and then we had like a way bigger, heavier rifle, which is fine. Obviously, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining at all. But um, I wish we would have practiced with it. But it's okay. So. Boom, I did that, and you do get a COA if you do it. Let me show you guys what it looks like. So when you graduate, they give you this folder. See, it has my name and my roster number. Prophet Jasmine, or roster number 149. Let me show you guys. So they give you your 1059. Your 1059 looks like, literally looks like an NCO Yario. Like, literally looks like an NCO Yario. And if you guys are wondering why my bed has no covers. It's because I'm doing laundry and stuff. I literally just came back. You can see the green bag. So this is the COA that you get if you volunteer for Color Guard. And if you guys don't know, a COA is worth five points. So five more points for me. And then this is your proof that you graduated. Is my social on here? No. This is the proof that you graduated. I'm so happy you guys like oh my god like it was oh it was so well I'm not gonna say it was so but I was so sad towards the end like I cried a little bit like I met some really good people can I show you this and this is what your 1059 looks like let me show y'all real quick yeah this is what your 1059 looks like I heard it's supposed to look different and they changed it now they look like NCO yards but I never um Yeah, so it says my GPA was a 3.59 out of 4. Could have been better, but I was 
lazy but i'm gonna insert all the vlog footage i have from blc hey guys oh my god so it's the last day right and i promised i was gonna vlog but shit like shit was so like hectic and busy but it's the last day y'all we graduate yeah that is my friend gibson hey guys oh my god i look so rough but Please guess don't. what my curls are fucking popping boom bitch <laughs> she's crazy y'all but tomorrow is the big day and i'm washing my hair so i just wanted to come tell y'all and i'm gonna be wearing foundation tomorrow period poo and it starts at 10. Are you recording? Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. It starts at 10. And they said it's supposed to be 40 minutes long, but we're going to see, y'all. You guys, it's 4 o'clock in the morning. I'm tired. Look at my eyes, y'all. I'm tired, but today's graduation. My head is finna be a man, bitch. It's graduation day in the zone. I'm so happy. I'm so blessed. I could cry right now, but I'm not finna cry. So I might cry when my game come because you know it's a whole game coming. But overall, it honestly it was a great experience. Um, I really would not go back if i had the opportunity right now to go back i would not go back because like you have to have patience to be there because it's people from all over europe and it's people from um different mos's and then you know some mos's think they're better than other ones and then it's just it's just very it's a lot of very immature people there i literally was dying there i was like oh my god like how do some of these people how are some of these people graduating she was embarrassing but that's neither here or there. I'm worried about myself. But that is it for today's video. If you guys have any questions about BLC, comment down below. Let me know. I'm going to answer it for you guys. If you guys went to BLC on Graph, any of you guys, comment down below. Let me know your experience. I heard things are changing now. A lot of things are changing now. Oh, yeah, that comment on Bro, I fell out, grind. Bad news. That is it for today's video. I love you guys. And I will see y'all in my next video.